My name is Christine and I have a YouTube channel. I go by Gunda Chris, but my YouTube channel name is Gunda Chris Cha. Okay, so this is where I do all of my art and I have like all my equipment, so my paint. Um, I already have the camera set up because I was working on something previously, so um, it was a painting I was doing and this is all my stuff. What I do on YouTube is I teach my fan base or viewer base how to make charms, what my ball top looks like, what the kind of art that I like to put out there. I make ball tops and I make charms based on video game characters. I also paint and I teach people on the internet how to do the same. I first got started when I saw artists on YouTube, but it wasn't like art, it was more like music. So then I kind of realized that I could also teach people on YouTube and I put my first video up there and then I just went from there and ran with it. I loved art since I was in high school and it was a way for me to escape because back then I was really shy and for art it was like that connection with people because when they like my art they tend to like me too. Growing up I was really really shy like some people cannot imagine the type of person I was before just because of who I am today. I really didn't have much friends. My sister's friends were my friends. So for me, like I said, talking to people was definitely a challenge. Public speaking was also very scary. Um, even today I'm really scared, but I think I've grown a lot as a person to where talking to people doesn't come naturally, but I love to do it. I became much more outgoing when people noticed my art. It was kind of like a shield, I guess, my art, because I could talk to them about my art, but I didn't have to talk about myself so much, just about how I made the piece of art and what it meant to me. So it kind of gradually became smaller, the shield, I guess, so it allowed me to um, communicate a lot better, and then basically it made me the person I am today. I wasn't really first comfortable with speaking people. Um, it was a challenge because in high school, like I said, I was really shy. So with YouTube, it's a way for me to talk to people but without physically being there. So it's a lot easier for me to communicate rather than having to do it physically. It's very comfortable speaking in front of people on the internet because they don't physically see you so I can be in my PJs um, just recording and all they see is my hands and, my, and they can hear my voice and they can just follow the tutorial and make their own crafts. I love talking to people now. I'm still hesitant of course because everyone's always scared of being judged for what they do or who they are or what they look like. but. Um, I say it gets better because it does. Um, I used to be really, really quiet and now I'm in front of a camera talking to people. So it's definitely something that people shouldn't be scared of, but they should acknowledge it and do their best. So I wanna say that the perks to being more outgoing um, versus who I was back then is that you meet people from everywhere. I've met people from GameStop, from the Pokemon um, series, like I met a producer. I've met so many people who um, just encouraged me to do better. And to have someone who's such in a big industry um, compliment you is just amazing. For people who want to be more outgoing, I say dive in. Um, it is very scary, but there's really no way that you can fail because you're already at the bottom, so you can just only go up from there. So I definitely say try your hardest. Um, I know being outgoing is really scary, and you're probably scared of judgment, but it's gonna happen. You just take the hits, because you're gonna meet amazing people out there who are definitely not the type of people you would have ever thought for them to be. So this is it, I'm all done, and I hope you guys enjoyed 
um, the interview and try your best to do your best. So definitely go after your dreams and be motivated.